My name is Wendy and I'm from Lice Doctors and this is my partner Karen and we're going to talk about how do lice reproduce. So what's this the first question? Are lice asexual or are they sexual? Lice are sexual. Uh, what asexual reproduction is is when one being um, spawns an, uh, an offspring and in that case the offspring the baby only has the genetic composition of the of the single parent. Uh, with lice, it requires a male and a female to mate, and the offspring will have the genetic composition uh, from both um, both parents. Now, is this true? I heard a female louse can lay up to ten eggs per day. That's correct. So the pre reproduction period takes about um, it takes about a week up to 10 days until a louse is mature. And once the louse reaches the stage of maturity, it begins to lay eggs. And um, when, when the lice mate uh, within, which takes about a half hour, the actual mating process, when the lice are finished mating, the male and female, um, the female will immediately um, lay th three to five eggs. And after that, they will, uh, the female will lay eggs twice a day, and that will take place over a one to two week period. The louse has to be mature, and once she re meet, uh, reaches maturity at about 10 days, she will then for the next 10 plus days lay uh, six to 10 eggs per day, twice each day, for a total of 10, 10 eggs in a day. But the, the laying will actually take place twice a day. Unbelievable. She's very busy, that little louse. Yes. Now, um, I heard that they lay the eggs at night because they're light sensitive. That's very true. Lice like their privacy and um, uh, they, so that's when lice are most active. Often people uh, report that they're sleepless, they have irritated, they not, that the people are sleepless and irritable, that's because they feel the lice moving around in their head at night and it, it creates a tingly, sort of tickly feeling. Yeah. Lice are most active at, at night and that includes moving around and laying their eggs. You should also know that um, when lice mate, um, usually they both will survive the mating process, but occasionally the actual mating process kills one of the bugs Yikes. and they will remain attached for the remainder of the life of the living lapse. So much for death do us part. <laughs> okay, so it takes seven to 10 days for a nymph to hatch, and out comes the baby nymph. Then what happens? The baby nymph will take about 10 days to mature. She will go through a mating cycle, uh, through a, matu a maturation cycle. And um, after she sheds, that's one of the aspects of, of the um, cycle, after she sheds, she will then be at, um, considered mature, and that means that she will be at that point um, capable of reproducing. And I guess that's the time when the itching starts, because they're actually biting you for nourishment, because they need blood to survive. That's right. So as they mature, they will be, um, um, start, they will start to bite. They won't immediately no but uh, um, as they mature they will start to bite you may feel itching depending on if you're allergic to the saliva um, certainly by a week you will feel um, most people will feel the itching as as the louse matures okay well thank you very much for that useful information and now it's time to say goodbye <laughs>